Abusi ya mwobi ya kwa ba ede ba eye TV gana eso. Onu mwenye mfo ba kwa ndi ya baba ya tomo nti eso wase. Captain Smart, onu ombri mwune ba kumpo ne mwo, omu omu fano edumano. Omu mwumu na ombri mwo omu. Enche kula na chese, eye Ghana Journalist Association, GJA. Omu ya baba ya tomo nti eso wase, media genu na fo, omu nshe na omu nsake, ana omu nsospende, eye onu mwenye mfo Captain Kwa Drew Smart, isa nse, oba eye TV station eso, ane simbi mwo ha, oka, eye ana ehon ente. Atem ni mkwa mpanifuwe wa sawadi ya nidi e momo no. Mfa momo. Na ubeti ya Ghana President pa na ufrenu ni buka tiniza na nani buka. Wase enye kama kwa. Na sasa nse mwe na eye udmu ya mfoba kwa. Wade na anuwa baba tuma ochese. Wano Captain Smart no. Wastati ya no. Enye no. Ensu media jenu mpanifuwa. Omwa shena baba siye ne. Omwa nye bibi ya mfaho. Ene se papayi. Sisi ya die. A a a a. Wati chinya. Oke kana adri left and right no. Na omu nye unu she, se yi ubi mu etu omu asuwa, omu omu fa kapte smarte juma no, omu mumu, ene wase yetu yi omu asu. Yen kwenye nkuti yin se mu dimu yanfo no, wadi yetu monti yasu, ne yemne isi ya. Minisa wako tina bonti na oke bibi ya, tuwa yi, ene she kapte smarte so. Enti, eti senye watu abuwa krama yi, nuwe jano no, na mnu opo, wo, 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 wo. Tako ke obi ya, odi asamu na abetu so, na ansu so, krama yi wano, emfano ho. Edi senka, ome yi mumraye yi juma pa ana senka. The principles and the friend is saying, ethics of journalism. Eye yi juma. Enka Captain Smart yi obi ya, omu ni mpa ni mfone be friend sekrati. These things are not said on radio. Because minti ni u obi ya, chairman of AUCC. Kwe jyo yanka. No obeti na ho, ama omu ni media station. An individual like Captain Smart. Ebe ma obeti na ho, no obeti kasanse mwe no ombe kheno. Enti sayo wa so ni kwa beje lo nkra fo kasa enti pani ni fie enti obi an kasa na e ma medical ka no se bi so bi ya de na o condemn a o nye the same thing ne o de make am say se ka captain smart your badwen ba media general to take immediate action to melt out appropriate sanctions to mr smart this will not serve as a deterrent to others but will enhance public confidence in the media organization as an organization that detests unprofessional conduct. In West Africa, Ghana is the oasis of peace, and this needs to be gathered at all costs. We stress the point that the media industry plays a critical role in ensuring the protection of national peace and security. We therefore urge all to conform to the tenets and standards we have set for ourselves in ensuring that everything we do is in conformity with the laws of the country and the ethics of our profession in order not to branch our country into needless chaos as happened in Rwanda three decades ago. We must also be guided by the fact that we are fast approaching the general elections in December with a political atmosphere already charged. Therefore, it is important to be sensitive to the fact in these times the least incitement could lead to an explosion. We must jealously guard the peace we are enjoying as a nation. The GJ Giba Print Park Media Foundation for West Africa, a new media association, therefore caution all journalists, media practitioners, and media organizations to be cautious of their utterances and reportage on their platform to save the country from slipping onto the path of violence with its attendant consequences. It is important to note that this caution is not a gag on the right to free expression, given that there are, there are decorous means and avenues for journalists and citizens to express their opinions loud and clear. I want to assure you all that we remain resolute in our defense for media freedom and that requires us to also champion media professionalism. We take this opportunity to also caution the media on the need to fact check. Recently, we were embarrassed by the, the third event emanating from one Chef Smith reportage. We want to take this opportunity to advise all the media that has fault. Apart from corporate bodies, political parties, 
and identifiable groups. Any persons or group of persons that invite the media for a press conference, editors must do well, need to carry out background check to ascertain their veracity before the assign. We remain resolute once again in our defense for media freedom and will do everything to rise against anyone who wants to gag the media. May God bless our nation, Ghana, and continue to make her great and strong. Thank you all. I was here once and full from Munson, Dr. Adai Mensa, we see you, Okupimo Confanochi Teaching Hospital. What the Ababa to Montezo, I watch us, or more when I am a cast and met to Poku Prempe, and I want to do any in the Punway Amazon was who wound him the Omoka Kra or more chomo touch them, and I just say, or actually, and I'm a person or Mokakan some wound him. Or say, a year would win for. Doctor Matupoku Prempe, no yen classmate, only me papa papa was so one home brassier where you had working. I was here, you're going to go to you in some way a year with me young for no audio to Montana, so now you're going to see Now, before that, I was at KNUST and worked at some point as the national vice president of the University Teachers Association of Ghana. Suffice to say that I attended the same school with him, Prempe College. And so I've had dealings, workings, engagements with him both directly and indirectly. And in all these occasions, he's come across as assertive, bold, supportive, empathetic. He speaks his mind just like I do. He's not a saint. He has his flaws just like all of us do. And I'm sure that I do have my flaws. But I believe that he's a performer, he's a doer. And at any point in time, he's that person who we can call on. I remember as National Vice President of Utagwen, there were issues here at KNUST. Um, I had to ask him to come meet uh, lecturers here on a Sunday afternoon around two o'clock. In fact, there were many who thought that it was going to be impossible for him to come because of a certain perception people had of him. But uh, unfortunately for them, and to their pleasant surprise, he showed up two o'clock on the dot on a Sunday afternoon, very sunny. We had very good interactions with him. I remember at some point when there were some misunderstandings and we approached him. He offered to be here himself at any point in time that we were ready. And he indeed did come and place the issues in proper perspective. I have absolutely no doubt in his confidence and his ability to do whatever he's asked to do. I am sure that his work at the Ministry of Education and presently at the Ministry of Energy would speak volumes about his ability to deliver. Thank you very much. Last to su suggest that he's arrogant. But I can understand where people come from. Um, we are living in a country where timidity is equated to humility and assertiveness and boldness is equated to arrogance. It is not to suggest that maybe somebody has had a certain dealing with him at which point he may have come across as arrogant. But in my dealings with him for a long period of time, uh, I have had some issues in the past because of this same assertiveness, this same boldness, this same confidence. Sometimes people are unable to decipher between a person being arrogant and a person being assertive. I must say, in all humility and in all truthfulness, that he has never come across as arrogant. He's supportive, he's bold, he says it as it is, and basically that is Matthew Opoku Prempe. Na abusia and someone doctor a de main san or the atom montain as or eno no. Was so when young for Matty will poke prempa and I won't tell any in the pool, eh, will you be our young brassini? Na ebi our caca sabi, na a honte a monfanchano. Na when young for maso, papano would him depa yatano, I was young and yet a fidiacro. And there did the cow share and an amassu ye pass over table continuance. I saw scrabby a very careful so could not say a bear. News be a better montain son, on so be a be ashen come a come a pa. Never be a diacosum ya any pitri ha, and I'm the Jumaji ABC.